How important are, is taking advantage of those teachable moments in the floor as you guys get more connected as a team? Uh, it's always good to hold each other accountable, um, but we try to do that. We're going to try to do that as uh, <clears throat> trying to tone it down throughout the game, you know, because we want to react off of instinct and, you know, mentally be on the same page too. So we don't have to talk about everything after each possession. So. Uh, but it's a good balance to have between, you know, communicating and just, just flowing with the game. And, you know, we are, we'll only get better from here. You know you, you know, you look through the stat sheet when you look at the numbers from this loss. What what jumps at you the most? Uh, they shot 23 more shots than us. Um, even though we out-rebounded them, we, we had 20 turnovers. I had six turnovers. I'm turning the ball over too much. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, the understanding, obviously, that, you know, high usage players are going to get a lot of turnovers. But, I mean, are you seeing a commonality or are you noticing anything specific with the turnovers between you and you and Kai? I think you guys had 11 between you. Yeah, I just think we're trying to be aggressive to make plays. And um, sometimes we look overzealous to make a pass. And uh, sometimes you just got to – you got to – we found a balance between knowing when to shoot when to pass. It's tough when you're controlling the offense a lot. And, um, you know, I could live with two or three, but six of them is too much for me. And I got to just tone it down if, I, if our team uh, wants to be successful. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, Kevin, do you sense uh, any of your teammates kind of putting pressure on themselves to live up to the standards set by you and, and Kyrie? And what do you think? Uh, can be said, baby, to help everybody get over this early season hump. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if the guys are thinking about uh, putting too much pressure on themselves. Uh, we just, uh, I think everybody wants to do well uh, out there, and there's just some mental mental things that we're doing that uh, we end up beating ourselves a little bit, especially like I said, turnovers and box outs, and you know, 13 offensive rebounds for them. They 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 uh, felt like they got more than that, but you know, it's just. Uh, we, we, we're all on the same page. It's about um, each possession, you know, figuring it out and, and uh, making sure we're communicating, but also making sure we're playing off instincts. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Kevin, it looked like you pulled Joe aside a couple times in the first half, and, and at one point the camera caught you saying, don't help me to him. Is, is that in reference to the overhelping you guys did on defense last week and that you were alluding to? Um, I think against the Hawks, or was that a, a different matter altogether? Uh, yeah, I think I think uh, one time I had uh, I had my guy bottled up, and I seen somebody out my uh, out the side of my eye just coming over. I guess trying to give some resistance, but you know I told guys, you know if I got somebody inside the three point line, they pick their dribble up. There's no need for you to help, and Joe understood. And I also told him that he can guard, you know, so we don't have to help so much on him that we he can guard up one on one. And, you know, I think, uh, you know, we all starting to understand each other uh, even more, and it's only going to get better. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Kevin, you know, there, there obviously isn't a lot of practice time in between these games, and that can be said for every team, not just you guys. But given that there's new faces, new new players, you guys coming back from injury, uh, what are you guys doing instead of this practice time? And, and are you kind of using some of these games to also iron out what you're not able to iron out in practice? Yeah, I mean, I think we still come. We still come in and watch film, and guys get work on their bodies, and you know, we still we still mentally locked in. Uh, but you know, it's, it, it may take some games for us to kind of gauge ourselves and figure out where we are, and uh, and see how we can make some adjustments because it's hard to get practice time. You know, when we practice, we like to play up and down, and I think that helps us. Um, so we're using the games for you know good teaching moments for all of us, and just gotta keep grinding. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Kevin, I'm wondering if one of those teaching moments, Steve said, you know, first time coach, some some new players kind of learning to gel. It looked like at one point maybe Steve didn't quite call a timeout quickly and had some encouragement from players on the floor to do so. Is that something that you're seeing him kind of learning that timing in real time? I don't even see that. Uh, uh, but Steve knows when to call timeouts and he knows what he's doing over there. We all trust him. and. Uh, you know, it's only, you're only going to get more comfortable as time goes on. 